Retailers, if they want to be successful, have to move fast because trends change so quickly. If you're creating apparel, you can't create apparel for the trends from two years ago. And that speed and that way in which we have to move quickly when we make a decision carries over into our technology and our security team as well. My name is Jennifer Chapleski, and I'm a Senior Director at Target Corporation. Target is a big box retailer. We're based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Everything that you experience at Target, whether you're checking out, or you're using drive up, or there's actually things on the shelf, all of it is powered by technology. So we have over 7,000 applications at Target, and the functions of the product security team is to make sure that those applications that are just core to Target's business do so securely. On the endpoint security side, we have hundreds of thousands of endpoints. And those could be point of sale registers, it could be the servers that power target.com, or it could be handheld devices that team members use in stores. All of those are something that we care deeply about making sure that they're protected from security threats. I say it's like a treadmill. As soon as you stop learning, you're gonna get thrown off the back because Threat actors change quickly, the technology changes quickly. What was good in 2016 is not even table stakes in 2023. And so we rely very closely on CrowdStrike as one of our important threat intelligence partners to understand adversaries, what their behaviors look like, and how we would defend against those behaviors. But we also partner with them on things that we wouldn't want to build in-house. Scanners that could run, that we can partner with a vendor who does this full-time. Expertise that they have around different kind of threat vectors are something that we rely on CrowdStrike pretty heavily. The implementation experience has been really easy. We had to convince a lot of developers that it was going to be okay because we were putting an agent into the cloud environment and we don't necessarily worry too much about a random Tuesday. But when we start thinking about Cyber Monday and Thanksgiving weekend and all the volume that Target expects during those peak times, the capabilities have to be able to work at our peak times as well as the quieter times. And so we put it through the ringer and partnered closely with some teams who are responsible for those tools when we feel comfortable with it. For us, CrowdStrike really checks all of the boxes for things that we're looking for. They've been a good strategic partner. The tool performs the way we need it to. The best capability that affects peak performance isn't going to work for our organization. And we feel confident in its capabilities that when our environment is under attack, that CrowdStrike is a good partner in making sure that we're protected. I think of myself and my team as enablers of people who also want to protect the organization. Even if our stores aren't open 24 hours, the supply chain is still humming all the time. Distribution centers are sending product to stores, stores are sending product back to distribution centers from returns, and so it's a 24-hour operation and security is an important function of that. But ultimately, we're here to support Target's business, and so we take that job as seriously as we do protecting it.